outdoor condenser. We'll set the new unit back down on top of um, in the same spot on top of the new pad, new disconnect box, new electrical whip, and then the insulator that is out there. Then you can access that through the garage or that gate. Downstairs in the basement at Dorothy's rental property, we're going to pull this furnace out, set our new furnace back in the same spot. If we do a bead width furnace, it'll end up being on a S8 furnace will be on a base, new coil up on top of that, build up into the existing supply duct with the new plan. Return drop's going to get replaced. I'm just going to go from this drive right here back down to the floor that's about 66 inches. We'll bump it over a little bit so I just put a flat piece under this and then go straight down to the floor. Um, new 5 inch media cap that will get installed. Refrigerant lines run up to the ceiling and then go to the outside to the back of the house that direction. We're just going to flush and pressure test them. Um, drain lines run to that piece of PVC pipe that's back behind the system. I just want to run a new piece of vinyl, so we're going to go through the wall here, back behind that wall actually. Just right there. And then push vinyl all the way over to a floor drain here, so I'd bring about 30 foot of it. 30 to 40 foot. Breaker panels back in the corner. It's a square D. There's a two pole 30 amp circuit. That door right there goes directly to the outside. Flue pipe is four inch. It runs around the back side of the system here. It ties into some three inch on the water heater. We'll need a five by four by three T. And then electrical. That's it downstairs.